All right, still working on solving systems of equations, but notice how the problems are getting more and more complicated. Before this video, we were able to cancel out the x's or cancel out the y's if they had the same value coefficient in the front. However, if you look at this problem, we can't. But if you look closely, we have a positive 4y here. So if we were able to make this into a negative 4y, we could cancel out and eliminate the y's. So how would we do that? We're going to multiply this whole entire equation by negative 2. So that when we distribute, we can turn this into a negative 4y so that we can eliminate the y's. So let's go ahead and rewrite this problem to the side. And I always suggest that you write it horizontally in order to reduce careless mistakes. We're going to distribute here. Negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x plus negative 4y. That was our goal, is to get negative 4y. And then we have a positive 8. And now we can go ahead and add it in order to eliminate the y's. Here we get a negative 7x equals to 14. Divide both sides by negative 7. x equals negative 2. Remember that we haven't finished the problem until we solve for y as well. I will go ahead and substitute it into the first equation. x is now negative 2. 4y equals 6. And we're just solving for y at this point. Add 6 to both sides. 4y equals 12. Divide both sides by 4 x equals to 3, excuse me, y equals to 3, and we have our answer. It's negative 2, x comes before y, and 3 is your answer. So let's review. In order to cancel out one of these variables, we have to make them the opposite. 3 and 5 cannot cancel out, 4 and 2 cannot cancel out. So I've decided to go ahead and multiply this whole entire equation by negative 2 in order to make it into a negative 4y here so that we can eliminate. And then the rest is just a one-step, two-step equation.